I was reading a book called Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And while reading the book, I came across the six practices in the Miracle Morning routine. Elrod abbreviates them as savers and says they are guaranteed to save you from a life of unfulfilled potential. Now, being an entrepreneur, a coach, a content creator, sometimes I, I face challenges to balance my life. I really need to balance a lot of things at the same point of time. And this would mean that many of my mornings would start with checking out emails and messages. And I used to devote my energy to work-related things first thing in the morning and then feeling overwhelmed throughout the day. So when I came across this technique, I took it as a sign from the universe itself and thought of implementing them in my life. And after practicing it for a while, I could see a difference in my life. That's why I'm recording this video for you because it can help you as well. I remember lines by John Maxwell, where he said that you will never change your life until you change something you do daily. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. That's what Mr. Maxwell said. And I'm so, so glad that he shared this for us to connect with our routine. If you agree that yes, the vast routine is really important. If we follow a routine, we can achieve magical results. Then type in routine in the or agree in the comment section that yes, routine is really important. I would love to know. So in this video, let me share how you can apply the savers technique in your life. The first thing you need to do is master the art of silence. Yes, S stands for silence. The first step includes practicing silence. According to this method, after getting up in the morning, we should take a moment of silence or meditation. It will help in bringing clarity to our lives. You may follow the following miracle morning meditation. It says that, First of all, you prepare your mindset and set your expectations. Let go of your stresses and be fully present in this moment. Right now, as you listen to me, you can just close your eyes and listen to me the way I guide you next. You may find a quiet and comfortable place to sit. Be comfortable so that you don't feel any distraction, any, any discomfort. Sit up straight on the couch, on a chair, on the floor, whatever works for you. Just be comfortable and sit upright. Maybe cross-legged. Keep your eyes closed or you can even look at the ground. Begin by focusing on your breath. Do it. Close your eyes. Begin by focusing on your breath. Taking slow, deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And be sure to breathe into your belly rather than your chest. Now start pacing your breath. In slowly on a count of three seconds. Hold it for three seconds. And then breathe out slowly on a count of three seconds. As you attempt to quiet your mind, Thoughts will still come into pay a visit. Don't ignore the thoughts, simply acknowledge them, then let them go. Always returning your focus to your breath. Keep your eyes closed and focus on your breath. If you have a constant influx of thoughts, it's helpful to focus on a single word or a phrase and repeat it over and over again to yourself as you inhale and exhale. When I tried doing this, I felt that my life was at peace. I could enjoy some alone time and truly listen to my thoughts. Yes, no checking of Instagram or emails for that matter. A, A stands for affirmations. Affirmations can prepare our subconscious to attain the mindset needed to create the change we want to see in our lives. If you want to change 
something in your life, try using affirmation. The idea is that by regularly repeating what we are committed to achieving, it will slowly become a reality. Let me share with you how to create your affirmations. First of all, be very clear what you really want. Begin with clarifying, maybe in writing, maybe by recording what you really want, your ideal vision for yourself and your life. And in which area? Is it career, health, spirituality, relationships, whatever it be? And then ask yourself why you want it. Being super clear is really important for you to move ahead. Your deepest why, like why do you want this? It will give you an unstoppable purpose to move forward, to move forward. Then ask yourself whom you are committed to being to create it. Get clear on who you need to be, who you are committed to be in order to take your life, business, health, marriage to the next level and beyond. Ask that. And then once you have done that, you have imagined yourself as a successful businessman, as a healthy uh, maybe with six packs, maybe having great relationship with your family, with your spouse, whatever it be. Now, ask yourself what you are committed to doing to attain it. Specify the actions you will need to take on a consistent basis to make your vision for your ideal self. Include how often will you go to gym. Include how many times will you sit and complete and like write your book. Include what all will you do to work on the relationship. Precisely, be, be very clear. When you will start, when you will end, be very clear. And take small steps. I'm not asking you to change everything overnight. It will take some time. Give that time to yourself and start small. You can even add inspirational quotes to yourself or to your affirmations. It will help you. The third thing is visualization. Visualization goes hand in hand with affirmation. Imagining helps us to create mental pictures of desired outcomes and behaviors in our life. Just imagine yourself successful. Imagine yourself as super healthy. Imagine yourself as a great speaker. I did that for myself where I imagine myself as a great speaker. So just sit at a place and visualize what you want to achieve. I have a vision board at my work desk that constantly reminds me of my goals and helps me visualize them in a better way. I had attached a picture of my dream car and today I own it. That's the power of visualization. There are three simple steps for miracle morning visualization where the first one is to get ready. Sit up in a, in a place which is quite comfortable for you. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes closed, clear your mind and get ready to visualize. Visualize what you really want. See yourself accomplishing what you have set out for yourself. And how would you feel, how good it feels to have been on that journey and, and achieving your goal. Visualize who you need to be and what you need to do. Visualize for yourself who you need to be and what you need to do. See yourself engaged in the positive actions you need to do each day and make sure you see yourself enjoying the process. It's very important for you to enjoy the process. If you are sulking and feeling bad and just cribbing and complaining, no, it will not be a smooth journey. Enjoy the process. And then talk about E. E is for exercise. The importance of exercising cannot be stressed enough. I have started doing yoga regularly and the results are magical to say the least. I have seen a major transformation in my physical as well as my mental health. So you should also take time from your busy schedule and exercise. Whatever form you choose, be it running, be it walking, be it like gymming, be it cycling, be it yoga, whatever work, exercise. Exercise just for half an hour each day and you shall witness the difference. Believe me. R stands for reading. 
the fastest way to achieve everything you want is to model successful people who have already done that, have already achieved that, says Hal Elro. Reading helps us to learn from the lives of others. It also helps to become more creative. Now, how to read? Begin with the end in mind. Ask yourself why you are reading that book. What do you want to gain from it? And keep that outcome in mind. Underline, circle, highlight, whatever it takes and take notes in the margins of books. Reread good and personal. Reread like good books, which can help you for your personal growth. If you need any book recommendation from my end, do check out my posts on Instagram. And the last one in Savers Technique, S stands for scribbling or journaling. Just pick up the notebook and write anything whatever comes to your mind your feelings your thoughts whatever comes to your mind just allow it to flow through you and write down in your diary just write for yourself when i was in college my diary was there for me when i was going through a rough patch in my life my diary was there for me through my journal i could release my my emotions the savers technique can change your life for good. A blend of three or four habits can also bring in the desired change in your life. After all, it is your life. So you should decide the strategy most suited for you. On this note, I wish you all the best and pray for your well-being. Let me know which of these techniques, S-A-V-E-R-S, resonates the most with you. Which one you practice the most? Which one you will start after watching this video? Let me know in the, in the comment section. I'll wait for your comments. Till then, stay awesome, stay productive.